The demo seeks to show how a lack of eye protection, or the use of inappropriate eye protection, drastically increases the potential for a worker to sustain a severe eye injury. Every day in the U.S., there are approximately 2,000 job-related eye injuries, about a third that require hospital treatment. Eye injuries cost $300 million per year. In construction, there were over 5,500 eye injuries, which accounted for 20% of all injuries in 2008. When an eye injury occurs, 60% of the time it was found to be through the use of no eye protection, and 40% of the time it was through the use of improper eye protection. These injuries are often caused by small airborne particles, specifically sparks and other airborne construction debris, traveling at high velocity. These hazards come from the energy of motion, specifically kinetic energy. Kinetic energy is equal to one-half times the mass of an object times its velocity squared. Particles such as sparks and construction debris often have sizes smaller than a sixty-fourth of an inch. This means they have extremely small mass. The surface speed of an average grinder is approximately 8,000 feet per second. This means the sparks are traveling at least that fast as they leave the grinder. Air effects do slow them down on the way to the eye. Wind gusts can blow construction dirt and debris up to 110 feet per second. Slower, but still very fast. This kinetic energy of the particle is transferred to the eye through an impact force. Force is equal to mass times the acceleration of a particle. Acceleration has units of distance over time squared, meaning it is dependent on both particle's velocity, time over distance, and the amount of time it takes that velocity to change. For objects with varying velocities, like sparks and construction debris, the particle with the higher velocity feels a larger magnitude deceleration and therefore more force to slow down the faster moving particles when the masses are of similar size. This is why sparks due to the angle grinder represent a much higher hazard. Their increased velocity causes them to f penetrate through the eye because they do not have enough distance to slow down. Our live demo is intended to model these hazards due to force transfer from these airborne dust particles and high-speed sparks. These hazards can be caused by large equipment, but for our demo we will assume that the wind is the general cause and that a grinder is an accurate representation as a source of sparks. Now that we've identified the hazards for our demo and for an average construction site, we have to determine what will protect our eyes. Nope, not him. Instead, it's a series of Jackson Safety and Pyramex high impact resistance goggles and face shield. Now that we understand hazards to the eyes on a construction site and have some suggestions for how to protect against them, our demo will show you exactly why and how effective these goggles are. Our demo uses a foam head model that has been fitted with a pig eye, which is very similar to a human eye. An angle grinder was used to grind a steel anchor, sending controlled, high-velocity sparks towards the model, specifically at the eye area. Go. Wearing no eye protection is obviously not a good thing, as sparks will explode directly on your eye. The use of generic sunglasses to protect the eyes provides no true eye protection, as grinder sparks still effectively contact the eye at high speeds. Damage done to the eye without protection is substantial, often resulting in severe medical cases or disabling injuries. Next, a series of different types of eye protection are tested for their effectiveness in protecting the eye. The face mask was used without additional eye protection, minimally reducing the risk.
A can of compressed air was used to blow construction site dirt and debris into the eye. Hopefully this live demo has shown the importance of using the correct eye protection for the correct work. For best all-around eye protection, we recommend using the Pyramex i4 safety glasses. They provide protection from particles approaching from any direction, they have a flexible strap and light construction that makes for a secure, comfortable fit for extended durations, their strapping allows for convenient removal from the eyes and transportation, additionally they are cheap, have anti-fog lenses, they are vented, and are ANSI compliant. We recommend always wearing eye protection when exposed to hazards on a construction site. It must be appropriate eye protection for the task and environment. We also recommend checking the eyewear for damage prior to usage, otherwise it will not provide adequate protection. We ask that you be responsible, holding other workers accountable for their safety and the safety around them as well. And lastly, we'd like to reiterate that we need you to lead by example and always wear eye protection because in the end, People have the most influence on other people.